this video we're going to demonstrate how to add your new email account to Microsoft Outlook. Of course to do that we're going to be in control panel so we're going to go to start and then control panel and again remember by default a lot of control panels are organized by category so if it shows up like this just hit the down arrow and go to small icons and we're going to go to the mail tab click on mail and we're going to go to show profiles and what we're going to do is we're going to remove our existing profile uh, makes it a lot less complicated inside your outlook now if you're real techy and you have a specific reason that you need additional profiles you can just add but for simplicity uh, so you don't accidentally use the wrong email account for sending we're going to remove are you sure you want to remove and take note mine is john.stro you don't want to add one back with the same name we're going to do stro john on the next stro comma john so yes we do want to remove okay and after a few seconds it disappears you click OK okay so the next thing we're going to want to do is go right back into mail and as you can see there are no profiles so we're going to add a profile and just give it a name click OK And you can go through these steps and you can put in the information or we're going to cancel this because I just think thought of an easier way let's just cancel this let's go ahead and remove that you don't have to go once you've removed it you can actually go to your Outlook icon which might be in your taskbar or it might be under start and all programs inside Microsoft Office is your Outlook wherever your Outlook icon is go to your Outlook icon and just click it and once it opens since you've removed your profile it will walk you through creating a profile Click OK. Now it defaults to the old email address you had in there. Don't leave it in there. That's a naughty naughty. We're going to backspace over. Keep the name because that is the correct name. Now, if you are one of those end users that you had a one in your name because there was a duplicate, remove the one. It's going to be your first name dot last name at Correct.org. And then the password, if you have not changed your password yet in your new email, uh, just, just put in your password, your current password, and retype it. And then we're going to click Next. And we're going to be patient and let it search out for our email account. Again, the key here is patience. All right, you can get this message. Now that notice you're going to restart Outlook, not your computer. Let's click OK. And just like that, we have successfully set up our Outlook. We're going to click Finish. And now the Microsoft Outlook is going to build your profile and load your emails uh, in your new account for your new account. Again, 
patience. This could take several minutes, depending on how many emails you have in there. And as you can see, it's loading the add-ins. So we're getting to the top of the mountain. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train, for she had such a jolly load to carry. Her cars were filled with good things for boys and girls. Great book. And there's your email. And as you can see, it's going to set up a local copy of your mailbox. It could take several minutes, again, depending on the volume of email that you've amassed. By this being a new email and you haven't taken your backup in and imported it in, it shouldn't take long at all. And we're finished. Okay, there you go.